Watch me. up Take this! Try this! You're in it now! I got this! You're in for it. Feeling better already! Cool! I'm not that way down. Not yet! Try this on your side! Your order is ready! You come along! Korea! You sure you want to be part of Kill it! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ishioda. Kasuga, you little shit. How'd you find us? The Komijul spiderweb still catches plenty of flies. Surely you've heard the old myth. Spider silk is stronger than steel. <laughs> did you or did you not kill Arakawa-san? <laughs> I did not. The Yakuza Code killed Arakawa. You know our world ain't the kind where traitors can just walk free. The fuck? That's a bullshit excuse and you know it! Oh, what the hell?! What? Adachi-san, do you have a twin brother? 
Oh no, it's not like that. It's... What? What is it? One of them is Mirror Face. Like, disguised as a dachi son? Hey, we did say he'd pretend to be a cop. Oh, sure. Like, this is all perfectly logical. You said he'd be a cop, not look exactly like one of our own. Hey, cut it out! No, you cut it out! Which one's real? <laughs> Apparently, he can mimic other people's strength, too. <laughs> There's a reason his skills come at a premium. Oh, yeah? Well, I know what to do. Hey, Adachi-san! How many articles are there in the traffic code? Uh-huh! Um, I guess... around 130? It's 132! Good question, Kasuga! Okay, so that's the real Adachi, right? Just to make sure! What's the first article? Oh, how should I know? I'm not a goddamn traffic manual. All right, and how about you? First article. The purpose of this act is to prevent road hazards and otherwise ensure the safety and fluidity of traffic. Okay, he's definitely the real one. Agreed. I'll get him. You punched the one that knew the answers? Wow. The real Adachi is a stain on public servants everywhere. Pretty creepy having a fake Adachi kill Sawashiro. How come nobody ever has a normal plan? And since you're a weirdo, I bet it was all your idea. <sighs> it's about time I put an end to all this, asshole! You're getting on my nerves. Ishioda murdered Awakawa-san. Now I have to take him out myself. Hey, chill out. You always go kinda off the chain when you get worked up like this. Yeah, I know. But I think I learned something from that dragon. The dragon? Get it? Let's just stay focused on figuring out Ishiota's next move. What? I don't miss. Oh, you sure you want to get hurt? Since you're gonna be in a world. Of I'll hurt. show you. You're in good. Get hurt. Feeling better already. You're gonna get. Let's go. I wouldn't have Bring it on. Oh, this could be better. Use this. Thank you very much. I got this. Too. I'll shoot you. It's so Thank you. Come on. Take your best shot. Here's how I spend my cash. Here we go. I'm ready now. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Uh, that's interesting. I'll show you. Yeah. 
when he gets hit. He is so messed up! Well, yeah. I mean, this is the dude who tried to crush us. Crazy that he got to be an Omi officer. Maybe that's exactly why he got to be an officer. What do you mean? In the Yakuza world, 
You gotta keep your secrets hidden deep inside. Gotta be an emotionless drone, huh? Let's cut the therapy session. Point is, he'll hit hard when he snaps, but he'll half-ass all the rest of his attacks. And let's keep hitting him until we knock him on his ass for good! To think, if you just let him be, Sawashira would have never squealed. But now, when he finds out you and the young master tried to off him, now I think he might just spill everything. Either way, you failed the young master. Can't wait to see what he does to you for that! <laughs> You killed Arakawa-san! Admit it, Ishiyota! Admit you killed him! After I said goodbye to him that night, he had dinner with Hoshino at Heian Tower. And as he left, you shot him. At point-blank range, you asshole! <coughs> All under the command of Ryo Aoki. Right? Uh, not quite correct. What's not? Tell me! <laughs> I did go there to kill Arakawa. <laughs> under Governor Aoki's orders. <laughs> but somebody got in my way. Who? <laughs> <laughs> You 
got him? Oh yeah, got them all lined up. Huh? Stop! He's not alone. Oh, damn. Is that... Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Well done, acting captain. I was so impressed when I found out you were planning to disband the Sultan Bari Yakuza. I couldn't believe you were willing to brand yourself a traitor to the Tojo clan. For years. <laughs> you must be one hell of an actor. Well, keep in mind, it wouldn't have worked if you hadn't sided with Watase and me. We only did it by the skin of our teeth. One misstep, and they would have called the whole thing off. And we'd be feeding the worms in the HQ garden. I'm just saying, give yourself some credit. No, oh, I was just caught up in the moment, holding on to your coattails. I figured it was my chance. A fight like that comes once in a lifetime. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are fearless. Oh, not really. You think so? Let me ask you, Tendo. What's your plan now? I gotta head right back to Kamarucho and report to Rio Aoki. Will you be okay? Me? Oh yeah, don't worry. What are those fucking traitors whispering about? You want me to take them both out? It'd be easy. <laughs> really? That easy for you? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a two-for-one deal. Is that your official order? Not that I've got misgivings, I'm just making sure, boss. Yeah. Arakawa first. Kill him in one shot. Alright. Arakawa as the appetizer. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, he... You shitheads. Ishioda, you always do this. Jump the fucking gun. Makes it easy for me to get two steps ahead of you. <laughs> Hell, I'm amazed you stayed alive up till now. Tendo. Ishioda, there's no Omi or Dojo anymore. The golden age of the Yakuza is at an end. The Omi Alliance might have seemed unsinkable to you, but it's scuttled now. Time to abandon ship. Shut the hell up, old man. The Omi and Sotin Bori got crushed because they let themselves get split in half. <laughs> it's funny, though. When one door closes, another one always seems to open. Guess I've been lucky like that. And I know opportunity when I see it. As a boxer, I never got my shot at the top. But now it's finally here. Kind of funny, isn't it? Tendo! So... This piece of shit didn't kill the boss. It wasn't Ishioda. It was Tendo. Where's Tendo now? Looks to me like he failed. <laughs> Ishioda always did do sloppy work. Well, good thing we were watching it go down. Your orders? Go on. <laughs> Give that button a push. Yes, sir.
Hello, people of Ijincho. Election day is tomorrow, and Sota Kume is here with a final campaign message. The Citizens Liberal Party is proud to endorse him. As the head of Yokohama's Bleach Japan branch, his attacks on the Grey Zone speak for themselves. We should all be inspired by how he persevered despite being ridiculed as an idealist many times in his career. But he stayed true to his beliefs, cleaned up our town, and has earned Governor Alki's deepest trust. It all led him to this campaign, which is not just about the second district. His support is national. He not only has Governor Alki's endorsement, but also that of Bleach Japan branches all across the country. The Citizens Liberal Party is the only party serious about cracking down on gray zones. Someday, every last one of them will be purged. With our support, Sota Kume and Ryo Alki will see Japan reborn, clean, fair, and beautiful. So we beseech all of you to vote with courage. For the good of Japan, wash the gray away, bleach Japan clean. Everyone, please take a trip down memory lane with me for a second. Think back to two years ago, when nobody thought this city would ever be free of its criminal element. People said the new Kamaro police station would amount to little more than a street decoration. But now, look around you. The Tojo clan, a plague upon our city for countless years, is nowhere to be seen. Kamurocho's been completely reborn as a city that stands up for what is right. And if we can do it here, we can do it everywhere. Party Chair Aoki is the magician making crime disappear, and Bleach Japan is his magic wand. After this, you're scheduled to give a three-minute speech from the truck. Then we'll leave Shinjuku and be on our way, Mr. Oh. Hmm? What's the matter? I'm sorry, should I refer to you as party chair instead of governor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's tough when someone has two titles, isn't it? But you can keep calling me the governor if that's what you're used to. That work? <laughs> Certainly rolls off the tongue better anyway. Ah, uh, of course, sir. Thank you for clearing that up. Will this be a live broadcast? Oh, yes. Some of these media outlets have been camped out here for your speech since noon. I see. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like I'm in a dream. Why? Well, I've been working my whole life to have this kind of influence. I slowly climbed up society's ladder, which, for politicians, has vipers slithering on every rung. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I avoided growing a pair of fangs myself. Oh. I don't believe you're the type to do that. <laughs> well, beliefs are different from the truth. Mr. Governor... It's not like I ever caused any harm. In truth, any laws I broke really didn't matter. And at least I had a real goal, unlike the others who made empty promises with no intent to keep them. Me? I actually believed in what I said. And now... Now you have the power to follow through on it, to do what's just. Governor, Sensei, your situation wasn't uncommon. Everyone's had to break a few eggs to make an omelet. When it's a noble ideal you're striving for, there are always sacrifices to be made. History proves that to us. Wow. Oh, I I'm sorry. That was out of line. No, I needed to hear that. Thank you. <sighs> well, they're waiting for me up there. They sure are. 
Go out there and show them just how noble your goals are, Governor. I will. Thank you for your patience, everyone. We appreciate you sticking around. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next honored guest. You all know him as the beloved governor of Tokyo, but now he's also the party chair of the CLP. He's been running around all over the country preparing for the big election tomorrow, but as always, he's made time for Kamurocho. Please give a warm welcome to Ryoaki. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a hand for coming out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all your passionate support. We couldn't do this without you. Excuse me! Excuse me, good people of Kamurocho! It's fine. Let him through. I know you ordered Captain Sawashiro to kill Arakawa-san. Don't try to deny it. The captain told me so himself. In fact, he even said there's a recording of you given the order. And it's somewhere inside the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. So we're going to do a little office raid tomorrow before the polls close. That recording's gonna be plastered on every corner of the internet. We're going to ruin you, young master. If a recording like that actually existed, you wouldn't be warning me about it. You're bluffing. <laughs> if you think it's a bluff, that's no skin off my nose. <laughs> you know, now I understand why Arakawa-san was so worried about you. Right up to the end. So was Sawashiro. You let it all go to your head, man. It's like you forgot what honor is. You think you can get away with anything. But you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> you know, elections are funny things. You never know what's gonna happen. That said, <laughs> I didn't see this twist coming. Kasuga declaring war on me. Of course, if I were him, I might have combed my hair before I got on national television. 
<laughs> Yo, Nick. How'd I look on TV? Smooth, huh? The plan went off without a hitch. Well, you got the public's attention. They're trending in tons of places online. But not in a positive way. No, oh, I'm always gonna look like a villain next to the young master. But you know, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Someone's pleased with himself. Hell yeah, I am. The young master reacted just like I knew he would. Oh yeah? Okay, then. Well, I just found a new place. You need a hideout in Kamarocho, right? There's a bar called Earth Angel in the Champion District. I sort of know the mama there. Earth Angel, huh? Got it. I'll meet you there. Hmm. Yo. Hey, Nick. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Hi, Ichiban. Hey, thanks for all the help. So did you really want to shake Alki's hand that bad? Or was there more to the plan? Yeah, it wasn't about the handshake. That was just stage one, man. Plenty more to come, now that the young master took the bait. Well, I still think stage two is more than a little shaky. Can someone fill me in on what it is already? Okay. 
So Aoki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masami Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is, he can't risk ignoring it. Because if there's even a 1% chance it's true, he goes to jail and his whole life goes up in smoke. So now, he has to do a sweep of the captain's office. I'm sure they'll turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sarashiro's. Yeah, plus I told them we were planning to go get the recording. I said we'd do that before the polls close tomorrow. Which means Aoki is gonna be desperate to find that data before we do. No doubt he's gonna throw some serious manpower at the task. Think of the scene at the Millennium Tower tonight. It's gonna be swarming with Omi Yakuza. But then what? Well, they can search all night and of course they won't find shit. But Aoki won't be satisfied. After his minions turn up empty-handed, he's gonna send his biggest, baddest dude. Tendo, right? Yep. The guy who killed Arakawa-san. Not to mention he tried to blow us up, too. We would have been screwed if Adachi-san hadn't noticed something was off. Kasuga, we need to go! Huh? Everyone, get out! True. Add that to the pile of reasons to take revenge on Tendo. But what do we do about Aoki? We'll get to him, but he can take a fucking number. Tendo is the highest name on my shit list. You really think he'll show up at the tower? Right now, he's basically the leader of the Tokyo Omi Alliance. So he's desperate for the recording too. He'll show up when they don't find it. I think it's a solid plan. And besides, does anybody have a better idea? Nope. And I wish I'd come up with this one. What use am I if all the good ideas are coming out of Kasuga's head? I have the same problem. Good plan or not, I wouldn't count on Aoki and Tendo waiting until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come and take care of you first chance they get. In case you forgot, you're on enemy turf here in Kamurocho. <laughs> you set foot outside, and every cat in this town will pounce on you like a mouse. Sounds good to me. I've been sitting on my hands so long I'm down to warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. Really? I gotta go through the Arakara office with a fine-toothed comb for this shit? Correct. Sounds to me like me and my guys are cleaning up after your mistake. Yes, you are. Do you need every order I give you explained in minute detail? Sorry I'm not on the same wavelength you and Sawashiro were. <sighs> I'm guessing Kasuga survived after all, huh? That's a loose end I'm actually glad to tie up for you. And this time, I'll make sure it never unravels. Any objections? Oh, now you want to be careful and not say naughty stuff out loud. Worried there's a recorder nearby, huh? Smart man. I'll just say one thing. Yeah? If anything ever happens to me, your little Omi Alliance Fun Patrol is dead in the water. This castle you've built is on pillars of sand. Without me, those pillars all turn to mud. The same can't be said of you. I can replace you in a heartbeat, as many times as I need. We are not on equal ground, Tendo. <laughs> what? Think I don't know any of this? You should realize, though, we're just getting started. The Tokyo Omi Alliance is gonna earn your respect. Trust me. You can earn it by just focusing on the job you have now. Protecting me. Which is in your best interest anyway. See how these things go together? As long as I'm your top priority, I'll continue to seek your services. It's that simple. 
Yeah, yeah, I get it. But Aoki-sensei... What is it? Someday, I think you're gonna see the value of our services. You'll come around. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have Try this on 
Besides, you're ass straight, sir. Takes me back. My senpai. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
Hey, Mako-chan! Damn. Father Time has not been kind to you. He was a real jerk to you too, Adachi-san. It's been a while. Who's this? The rarest of creatures. A detective you can actually trust. His name's Makoto Date. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> Rumors are true. You've got eyes just like he did back in the day. Like who did? An old friend. Nobody you would know. Anyway, I hear you're trying to keep a low profile. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day tomorrow. Do what you need here to rest up. Wow. Thanks a bunch, man. Take care. Appreciate it, Mako-chan. Sorry to get you wrapped up in this. <sighs> this is a walk in the park compared to the shenanigans I usually get roped into. <laughs> Good luck. Ichiban Kasuga. You too! Good morning, Ichiban. TV says the polls are already open. I wonder if anyone's put a check next to your name yet. Oh, I'm sure someone's done that as a joke by now. Or a pity vote. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? We're ready to go when you are. The Millennium Tower is standing there like a big old beacon. Of course, once you step inside, remember, that's an act of war against Ryo Aoki and the Omi Alliance. Yep, if we go in, there's no going back. You probably better tie up any loose ends first, Ichiban.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございました。それでは出発いたします
Time to hustle! With finesse. Cool. You're gonna get stomped. 
I was wondering if anyone would show up. I didn't expect it to be you. Aren't you busy? Should you really be drinking right now? <laughs> I'll drink whenever the hell I want to drink, Zhao. And don't forget, I was a regular at this place before you were. Oh, <laughs> is that how you want to play it? Okay, well, if we're doing that, then who's the newcomer in Ijin Shao, Kasuga? You or me? Uh, fair point. Man, this whole schooling you as your senpai thing sure is embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, you win. <laughs> anyway, sit down, yeah? You know, when we're out drinking like this, it's hard to imagine you ever being the leader of a gang. Everyone's the same once you strip off the mask they put on for work. Rich, poor, leader, follower, whatever. You never know what people are really like. True that, gotta strip them down. You know, I'm sort of a sight to behold when I strip down. How about it? Wanna see? Oh, I'm easy on the eyes myself. But why get our naked asses tossed out just to prove it? <laughs> Good point there. My point is, you can't tell if someone's a big shot just from looking at them. It's not like we were born with some special trait or anything. All jokes aside, there's this whole idea of being next in line just because you're the boss's son. No logic in it, but it's always there. Yeah, can't choose who your parents are. But still, wasn't there some way you could have given up the throne? Not everybody's cut out to run a gang. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure somebody else would have stepped up if you had stepped down. Most important thing in any group is the leader being a good fit. I don't know if I was a good fit or not, but I was a pretty sharp kid back then. <laughs> if I put my mind to it, I could excel at pretty much anything. Sports, school, all that shit. And I don't remember losing any fights, either. I was a lot craftier than the other kids. Sounds like you were pretty talented. I just didn't give a flying fuck, that's all. Guess that's what happens when you're good at everything. Real modest, aren't you? Up until I swapped places with my old man, we were always fighting with our rivals in Chinatown. But after their boss, Lao Ka Long, bit the big one, the Ejin Three got their stalemate going. Your rivals from Chinatown? Are you talking about the Snake Flower Triad? Or <laughs> they were pretty crazy. Ah, they pulled out of Japan a long time ago. There's not many of them left. Oh, so you became the leader of the Yokohama Lumong after the Snake Flower Triad was out of the picture? Just about. Had to have been almost ten years ago. Honestly, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Hmm. Ogi Kubo let me in on the whole counterfeit bills thing right away. Also told me about how the stalemate in Ijin Cho was rigged from the start. Man, still can't hardly believe that. The only people in the Liumong that knew about that were my dad and the old guard. The new boys kept saying they wanted to move in and take over, but it was always up to me to keep them on their leashes. Hmm. <sighs> then, it was no ambition this, and a weak-ass bitch that. Sounds like a fun job, eh? <laughs> Haven't seen this side of you before, Zhao. You're really starting to open up and let loose. How many have you had? Well, it's not like I gotta worry about the gang anymore. So I'll get as drunk as I damn well please. Is that a problem? Hell no, it's not. I was just saying, it's been fun. Fun, huh? Well, maybe I have shown too much of my hand. If I was still the boss, my bodyguards would have stopped me by now. Oh, really? I hope I didn't kill your buzz. Nah. I know you're the kind of guy that just says whatever pops into his head. <sighs> I'm gonna go sober up. Yeah, sure. Let's get another drink when you're up for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Same goes for you, alright? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it.
Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's up, Sachan? Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh, yeah. Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him. They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying, but you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did you girls hear? Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. How much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway... Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoha has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Orohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanoha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean... Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember how she wanted to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but... I'm afraid she might actually go back to the soap land. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with a biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a soap land? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajo, even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now. Well, if she won't listen to you, maybe she'll listen to me. What? You? Why not? We both used to work at Orohime Land, so it's not like we're complete strangers. But yeah, just leave it to me. She and Katsuragawa are history. Wait a second. If you go meet up with her, don't you think she's gonna wonder how you know about Katsuragawa? I'll just say Saiko told me. No, you can't tell her that you and I know each other. Huh? Think about it from Nanoha's perspective. She'll say to herself, if Saiko knows about this, then she must know about the Soapland. Don't you see? <sighs> Guess you have a point there. My bad. It's okay. I can tell how much you care about this, and I really appreciate it. I don't know what good it will do, but I'll give her a call. Never hurts to try. Alright. Good luck. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha, too. She's my ex-co-worker, after all. Still... thanks. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. 
Look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan. それでは、出発いたします。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
Richie.
Your order is Wait. ready. Kage was scared. Cool. Come on now. It's all yours, buddy. Ah! Cool. Okay. Come in now. Huh? Over here. On it. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna feel this one. Let's go. Yes. You can win! Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Do it! What the hell is you doing, Who else you Who else is your problem? I'm not backing down. Get serious. Yeah. You're in it now! There's a kin there. Right. Try this on your side. problem. Now I'm pissed. 
this. Have fun with this. Ah! You get this. The enemy is defeated.
No choice, guys. Let's play.
Oh. Out of my way! Huh? Let's go! それでは出発いたします。
目に遭いたいんです対応してあげますよ、ね Great. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll do great.
Moving up. 